Okay, so hello, welcome back to a new video. And in today's video, um, I'm gonna make a few un unusual um, copper salts. Um, they are tetrahedral group rates of um, amino acids. Um, so, um, I've drawn them out here for you because I don't want to show them immediately at the beginning. Um, so, the tetracolor cuprates I will be making is glycine tetracolor cuprate, which you can see here, alanine tetracolor cuprate, glutamine tetracolor cuprate, and theanine tetracolor cuprate. Theanine is a non essential amino acid uh, found in tea. Okay, so the general reaction I'm going to be using is um, two amines, so the um, amino acids, um, plus uh, two. Um, moles of uh, hydrochloric acid and one mole of copper chloride um, in ethanol um, and some water uh, which will form uh, the general formula of um, two amines bounded to a tetrachlorocuprate ion thingy um, so yeah um, the first one the uh, glycine tetrachlorocuprate I made a little different because I well, I didn't really know how to approach making them, so I made them um, glycine hydrochloride first, and then reacted that with um, uh, with the copper chloride. But I realized after seeing someone um, post a synthesis on some on alanine tetrachloride, um, I think it was on Reddit. I don't know. I don't, I forgot. I forgot. Um, but he uh, just. Of course, I don't know why I didn't think of that, but he just added the copper chloride, hydrochloric acid, and the amine all together in, in one. Just a, yeah, which is way easier. Um, and what I did for all of them was um, I, I used that procedure, so I, I just used this reaction um, in some um, water and, and ethanol, and then carefully uh, evaporated until um, it was kind of getting pasty and because I don't know why but tetracolocuprates are kind of air sensitive uh, moisture sensitive um, and then I just and so when it becomes pasty I just add some acetone to dry it and um, it will precipitate out most of the time and just I can just filter it and dry it a few more times with acetone and that uh, results in quite pure products I think at least so as far I, uh, as far I, as I can tell Jesus Christ I can speak but yeah so um, I'm making some uh, glycine hydrochloride there need some stirring but, um, yeah so hopefully that works and I can make the tetrachloricuprate uh, from the glycine hydrochloride I will be making um, yeah I guess it's now just I need to heat it up a little bit maintain it at like 50 60 C for a while then cool it back and filter it. Um, so at first it wasn't really uh, precipitating anything but I froze it and now it's just a solid mass so um, I guess that did a trick okay so we got some nice sparkly glycine hydrochloride um, this is 6.6 .6, but there's a little bit more in here um, so the yield is actually more than I expected, which is nice. Okay, so I have here uh, 3.12 um, grams of um, glycine hydrochloride and um, 2.38 grams of uh, copper chloride dihydrate, which I will be dissol dissolving in some ethanol. The ethanol and um, then combining together basically when it's those two are dissolved nicely um, and then either hoping for precipitate or just slowly evaporating it to um, yeah to get the uh, glycine tetrachlorocuprate uh, so yeah okay so as you all can see it's a brilliant green solution expected of tetrachlorocuprates but it has a little bit of a yellow hue which is interesting. I'm really looking forward to how the um, isolated compound looks like. 
yeah, it's kind of a, a very cool, uh, the yellow view is kind of cool. So, after like, I don't know, it was like three days of drying, it's still not completely dry. Uh, we have this very nice looking, uh, very green, like lime green powder. It's, I think when it's completely dry, it's more of a yellow, because if you look on the side of the beaker, uh, it's camera kind of sucks at picking up, but, but it's kind of a lemon yellow, like between yellow and green. So, we'll be, uh, so kind of a really weird color for a copper compound, but that's exactly what I like about it. So, so yeah. I really, really thought I just fucked it up and I was just drawing some crap um, because it was turning like brown, like almost rusty color. I was like, what the hell is this? But after drying it some more, it turned this beautiful color. So, And uh, it, it is crystalline a little bit. So I think I succeeded in making the glycine tetrachlorcuprate. Yeah, very nice. This is what it looks like completely dry. So now I'm making alanine tetrachlorocuprate. The following tetrachlorocuprates are made um, with the method I showed in the beginning. Um, so just um, two moles of uh, amino acid, then um, two moles of hydrochloric acid and one mole of copper chloride dihydrate, um, which forms the uh, corresponding tetrachlorocuprate. Okay, um, so we have here uh, a dry mix of um, beta alanine and copper chloride and hydrate. I'm gonna add um, some hydrochloric acid to it and it should then make um, alanine tetrachlorocuprate. Looks um, interesting, very odd. I added a bit of water to dissolve it better and it makes a nice emerald green solution. The uh, alanine tetrachlorocuprate is already crystallizing. Um, yeah, that's pretty epic. Like a crust. Here's the final product, and it looks very similar to the uh, glycine tetrachloracuprate, only a little bit more green. Um, yeah, it's the camera has a really hard time picking it up, but this is slightly more yellow. Uh, you can sort of see it. Yeah, interesting. So now making theanine tetrachloracuprate. Theanine is a non-essential amino acid found in tea. Uh, yeah, and this compound has never been made or anything, so I'm really curious um, how this one is going to turn out. Okay, so in here is a solution of copper chloride and um, um, theanine, uh, which I'm going to add some uh, hydrochloric acid to. Nice. So, this is the um, product I got from uh, the Theanine Tetracolor Cupid, and look at that. That is a beautiful copper salt. Probably the beautiest Tetracolor Cupid so far. It's an, it's a very golden yellow. So it's, it's brightly yellow, but also has like very golden. I don't know why, but Theanine is a very good, uh, chemical to make copper salts with. Very beautiful results. So if I compare it to like the normal theanine salt, that's also very pretty. And the last one is glutamine tetrachlorocuprate. Glutamine.
Okay, so this is our product. It's a light blue powder, surprisingly. I actually uh, found it suspicious, the color, because the rest is like yellows and greens. But I tested it uh, by reacting it with some um, bicarbonate and it did make a um, solution that was pretty much exactly like a copper glutamine complex solution. So yeah, I guess it's the that's a color group, right? But weird. It started out green, then um, when I first added the acetone, it was definitely like a yellow. But the yellow, like uh, when it's um, when I began drying it, it became sort of weirdly um, very pale yellow, like like buttery yellow, and it became more and more blue until it just became this blue powder. Very weird. So. These are all the amino acids and their tetrachloro amino acid copper salts and their tetrachlorocuprates. <laughs> I can't really pronounce it. But, so this is glutamine. That's theanine. That's alanine, and that's glycine. So that was today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, leave a like and subscribe, of course, um, because this is YouTube. Yeah, goodbye.